Hello, hello, hello. I have not been on for quite a while. This is Chicago Sports Vlog, and this is Brandon Cinevel, also known as Brandon the Archivist. And today we're going to talk about regards to the Chicago Bears 2019 draft review. I like, I love, I don't like, but I love their picks, what they did. Living in South Florida, they did pick a guy from Florida Atlantic University, a running back who I liked. Living here, you see a lot of games, a lot of college football games. In fact, a lot of the players are from South Florida. This is something that happens a lot. So let's get into it. So here we go. The Chicago Bears for 2019 had several draft picks. They did not have a first round or second round due to the Khalil Mack trade, as well as the trade for Anthony Miller of last year in the second round. For the third round, with the 10th pick, the Chicago Bears selected a running back named David Montgomery, running back from Iowa State. According to the games that I saw, he looked pretty good. I only saw a couple games with Iowa State on ESPN or CW. Um, it's not a big school, but it's a big school enough to have several games on the schedule being nationally televised. I was lucky enough to see this guy play. He's a workhorse. He's amazing. So here we go. David Montgomery is a great running back. He kind of has a body like Howard, but then more sleeker, perhaps like a poor version of a Matt Forte. He's going to be that kind of Swiss knife running back that you need. He's going to be pretty good. I think he's going to be the all-time running back for the rookie class. Probably be, could even be rookie of the year. Depends on Matt Nagy uses him. Interesting thing about him, he is an Eagle Scout and he helps a lot in his community. He seems to be a great guy. I give this grade an A minus. Calvin Ridley, fourth round pick for the Chicago Bears. I love this pick. Living here in South Florida, you get a lot of Georgia games. They were televised for several years because they were running for the national championship a couple years in a row here. This is a great pick. This is steal in the round. I call this a dime. In the dozen, which is not, but it's more of a diamond in the fourth round. We are going to get a great pick with this. He kind of reminds me a lot like his brother who plays for the Falcons. He's going to be a strong receiver, perhaps not the fastest one, but he kind of reminds me of a better version of Wims that they selected last year from Georgia, his old teammate. Interesting enough, the Bears have selected several Georgia Bulldog players throughout the couple years in the draft. We have Floyd, we have Wims, now we have Ridley. This is going to be pretty good. He's a very good receiver. He has a good jump. He runs up and get, catches the ball. For the sixth round pick, the Bears select Duke Shelley, quarterback, Kansas State. When I can tell you, he reminds me a lot like Callahan, the cornerback that we had that we let go on the free agency that signed with uh, Fangio for the for the Denver Broncos. He's going to be this kind of cornerback that you would need in special teams and a potential future nickel corner, perhaps even a third safety if you're going to throw the Hail Mary. He seems to be pretty good. He has a good neck for the ball, as well as stopping plays, breaking up plays, etc. I think he's a great pick. I give Kyle Ridley and Duke Shelby a B+. Plus for the draft pick. Well, I hope I'm pronouncing his name correctly. The Bears selected in the seventh round, Kareth Wright, running back for the University of Florida Atlantic University. So look, I live here in South Florida. I see this guy play. He's really great. He might not be the best running back in the draft, but he's small and just has these straight bursts that are amazing. So it's going to be very good to have him. We probably need that kind of running back for special teams as well as those little one-yard plays to get that first down or even into the end zone. So he's going to be a great add to the mix between Cohen and Montgomery as well as the uh, the other agent that we cut, free agent that we got from the Seattle Seahawks, which I forgot his name. That sounds horrible, but there you go. Steven Denmark was selected in the seventh round by the Chicago Bears. He's a player at Redosa State. 
He used to play receiver. He switched to quarterback. I think he'll be really good in special teams, as well as perhaps a potential fourth or fifth cornerback or nickelback within the Bears scheme. This is going to be a good class. I choose both of these guys. Uh, I want to say like an A-. minus Overall, Ryan Pace drafted about an A- minus uh, draft class this year. He did really good with the small picks that he had. He didn't trade up except for the first time he did in the third round to get McGarmody. Uh, that's understandable. People were crying, complaining that we gave the Patriots two conditional picks for next year. But remember, the Bears got 10 picks. So this, look, this looks really good. So here we go. That is my draft review for the 2019 draft picks from the Chicago Bears. Thank you. Like and subscribe.